Hi everyone, Mary here. Today is the day before Christmas Eve. It's the 23rd, I think. <clears throat> Let me just double check. Uh, yep, today's the 23rd of December. And I'm not even sure what I'm going to talk about. Um, but I know it's the new moon in Capricorn on the 25th, I believe. And then there's the solar eclipse, um, either the 25th or the 26th, uh, depending where you live. I'm pretty sure that's true. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I thought I'd just do a reading and I also wanted to wish you all a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. Uh, uh, also Happy Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate. Maybe you, you just celebrate the solstice. Uh, whatever you celebrate, um, wishing you Happy Holidays. And just wanted to let you know that I'm grateful for each and every one of you and I really have had an amazing year here on YouTube and met so many um, wonderful people through my readings and my healings. So thank you for subscribing and commenting. And um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Um, <clears throat> we're not doing much for Christmas this year. We're just, um, it's just my husband and I. Um, I did watch my grandson open his present via video. My daughter and son got together, yes, was it yesterday? Sunday? Yeah, yesterday. Um, so that was fun. We have guests coming in and out, so it's, it's kind of a regular work day for me. But, um, you know, the way I look at it, every day is Christmas to me. I'm so grateful every day I wake up and I'm grateful for my life and yeah so every day is Christmas but um, so <clears throat> with the new moon and the energies on the planet this is a great time to make that list of intentions um, think big because with the energies you can really work with the energies and oh I just realized I'm I got my ear here put in um, you can really work with the energies and use them to your advantage. Um, so new moon is a great time to plant those seeds of what, what it is that you wish to do. I've done that. I've been writing um, things that I want to do in 2020. Um, more public speaking, doing more retreats, but not holding them myself and doing all that work, but going to retreats and teaching it. Um, other retreats so I've put that out, out into my intentions but primarily I am putting out intentions of not what what I want to manifest but more who I want to be so I've been thinking a lot about that who do I want to be in 2020 and who do I want to be in that new in this new decade uh, 2020 to 2030 who, who do I want to be going forward in this new decade. So I've put those intentions out and I will do so <clears throat> uh, with a little ceremony on the 25th. And, and then just trust <laughs> that the universe will bring that to me. All right. So heavenly angels, let's have a reading for the new moon in Capricorn and the um, the eclipse, the solar eclipse. Okay. The first card up is the High Priestess, and we'll do three cards to start. The High Priestess. The second card up is the Four of Cups. One more card, please. Thank you so much. And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. Interesting. So <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you, myself included, a lot of us are going through this um, 
Well, we've been going through a spiritual awakening, and um, with the High Priestess, we've been connecting with the universe and with the uh, Mother Earth. And we have this book of knowledge that we're reading from. So we, we've gathered some wisdom this year. Um, and we're more listening to our higher selves or our intuition, our own inner knowledge. And many of you that I've met with for readings, um, you'll notice that I'm trying to teach you um, to not need a reader, to go within to center yourself, to ground and connect, and then just go into your heart with whatever question you have um, and see what comes up for you. So um, hopefully you can be your own reader. <laughs> and um, But I feel like a lot of us are really connecting and being our own high priestess, so to speak. And then we have the Four of Cups. So this is many of us going within, being self-reflective, looking at the year 2019 and any lessons that we learned from the year, um, looking at those lessons and then learning from them as we move forward to this new decade. So a lot of self-reflection going on. And then we have the Nine of Wands. This card is all about um, you know, you've got the eight wands here and there's one wand left to go. So this card is usually, to me, about um, carrying on, like hanging in there to get that last wand. So it's a card of per persistence. Uh, it's a card of, you know, we're winding up this year of 2019. Maybe you haven't um, wrapped everything up yet, um, but it's uh, the closing of a chapter. So being persistent, finishing up the chapter, and then moving forward to a new chapter. I'm going to pull another card. I'll do one more card. Heavenly Angels, please show me guidance for today. Please show me guidance. Wow, we have the Knight of Swords. So this is opportunity coming in for the new year. Um, knights are all about opportunity. And sword energy is clarity, truth. See how determined this rider is to get to clarity and truth? So in many ways, this is what we'll see on the world stage. Um, but also we'll see individually in our own lives. Okay, so I'm going to pick a card from, this is Amanda Ellis's uh, Metatron deck. Really, angels, please show me guidance for the new moon and for the eclipse energy. Thank you. Wow yellow joy and happiness joy and happiness this is when um, well there was the solstice and that's when we it was like I think the darkest day of the year and we were bringing in the light and I did that little meditation at the beach kind of bringing in the light and holding the light and um, so many people are waking up in mass um, from now, you know, all this year will be waking up, Spe especially I think around this time of year going into 2020, a lot of people are waking up. And, um, you know, waking up from the slumber of the, you know, I guess you could call it slavery in a way you know, the nine to five job, the, you know, the marketing, the materialism, the dog eat dog world. We're moving into a time of finding out, you know, what is your passion? What brings you joy? What makes you feel this way? Um, joy and happiness. So maybe going 
maybe that isn't material possessions. You know, maybe it's being of service to others. That's what brings you joy. Maybe it's healing others. Maybe it's listening or um, giving a helping hand to others in your community. So whatever that passion is for you, that's what you should go towards in 2020. You see these butterflies here? It's transformation. Going from that caterpillar and, um, you know, I'm reminded that I went through a dark night of the soul, probably more than one, and as people are starting to wake up on the planet, you may be going through a dark time, maybe your own dark night of the soul, but know that it's always darkest before the dawn, and even with the butterfly, the caterpillar is wrapped up in its cocoon and it's dark, um, but then the caterpillar has new life. It's been a transformation. So I feel like a lot of you are kind of almost there. There's one more wand to go. You're not quite there yet. Um, and you may be going through the loss of friendships or relationships or jobs or moving to different places on the planet where you're feeling called. A lot of changes going on. Um, all right, I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> all right, so I just picked another card from, this is a healing deck. I forget the name of it. But it says, discover your life purpose. Oh, wow. Discover your life purpose. I was just talking about this, um, what brings you passion and joy. So many of you are starting to realize that, you know, it's not enough to go to a job that maybe you don't love, right? And many of you are searching for your life's purpose or your mission here on the planet. And um, that's really cool that many of you will be discovering your life's purpose. And, um, you know, we had this sword energy, this um, knight of swords coming in with opportunities to get clarity about your life's purpose. So I feel like 2020 and especially um, this time where we're going within and we're doing some self-reflection, you may realize that maybe you, you have other passions that you haven't really tapped into and you're discovering your life's purpose. I'm not saying quit your nine to five job, that's not what I'm saying, um, but it might be that you, you need to take some classes or go back to school or um, make some life changes in order to... Um, to follow that calling, right? Okay, so I'm going to pick another card, and this is from the Chakra card deck. And we'll see what guidance, how many angels will you show me guidance? Thank you. This is interesting. Ah, clarity. I love spirit because spirit, I mean, this is obviously just reiterating what I said about you know, this opportunity for clarity coming in as you're doing more self-reflection, um, going within, listening to your own inner voice, your own inner knowing. This is a time where we're, we're finding our own, um, is it sovereign, sovereignness? Um, listening to our own inner voice and finding clarity about, you know, what it is, what is our life's purpose? What is it we're here to do? Um, what's the number here? Five, six, seven. Number 25. And um, two plus five adds up to seven. That's a number of Christ consciousness. It's a number that you're on the right path. And follow that path. So let's see. Should I pull another card? One more card, I think. Let me see. Actually, I'm being drawn to this. Kyle Gray's deck, um, Angels and Ancestors. Okay, Heavenly Angels, please show me any guidance. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Yep, it's um, Autumn, release the old and, what does it say? 
and rest. So I know what this card is saying. I've been having a lot of dreams lately, and I don't know if you guys have been having really vivid dreams, but a lot of us are having these vivid dreams. And I feel like it's just we're processing a lot of the old stuff to let it go for this for the new energies to come in, the new light energies to come in, um, for the new year. And this card is all about letting the old stuff go. And I've been having dreams about snakes, you know, you know how snakes shed their skin. So there's a rebirth happening for me and many, many of you out there as well. So let go of the old, move on towards the new, listen to your own inner guidance. Um, there's, there's some real opportunity coming with these energies to connect with the divine and connect with your own inner being and really tap into that um, purpose, that life's purpose. I feel like a lot of you will be getting messages in the coming uh, weeks or months um, of what brings you this joy and happiness. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I thank you so much for this wonderful year. I wish, I wish you happy holidays, and I'm sending you so much love. Here from Calabra, <laughs> and um, thank you so much for uh, all your comments and your support throughout this year. Uh, namaste, and have a great holiday season. Take care.